Hello everyone. This video will show you how to determine RNS absolute configuration, which we use to classify enantiomers. Enantiomers are stereoisomers which are mirror images. If you look below, these two molecules have the same bond conductivity, and if we draw a mirror plane, you can see that they are also mirror images of each other. Therefore, molecules 1 and 2 are enantiomers. In order to find the absolute configuration, however, you must first make sure that you have stereogenic carbons. A stereogenic carbon is a carbon that has four different substituents attached. If you look to the molecule on the left below here, you can see that it is not a stereogenic carbon because it has two hydrogens attached. The molecule to the right, however, has a stereogenic carbon because it has four different substituents attached. Next, we assign priorities to the groups bonded to the stereogenic carbon. We assign priorities according to atomic number. Highest priority is highest atomic number. Looking here, we see that the bromine has the highest atomic number, so we give it priority 1. Then we give the fluorine priority 2, our methyl group priority 3, and our hydrogen priority 4. Next, you have to orient the lowest priority group away from you. In this case, the hydrogen is towards us. So, we flip the molecule so the hydrogen is away from us. Again, we put down the priorities. And now, going from priority 1 to 2 to 3, we have to see if that direction is clockwise or counterclockwise. We do this by drawing an arrow. In this case, the arrow is pointing counterclockwise, so we call this configuration S. If the arrow were to point the other way, we would call the configuration R. Now we know that the enantiomer of this molecule should have configuration R, so let's check. We draw a mirror plane, and then we draw the mirror molecule. So you can see here, the hydrogen is already pointed away from us, which we will know will be group 4, and then we assign priorities again, giving our bromine priority 1, fluorine priority 2, methyl priority 3, and our hydrogen priority 4. Next, we look if the direction from 1 to 2 to 3 is clockwise or counterclockwise by drawing an arrow. We see it as clockwise, so we call it R. Now you know how to determine absolute configuration. Good luck and have fun.